Well, hello there, Pastor Dean. Just letting you know that I haven't stopped making these videos. I, I make a lot of them, but they don't turn out. I've been a little frustrated with that. Finally decided just to go for it. Why don't you know I'm in the vehicle heading up to St. Paul and Flint to make some videos for the benefit of the hearing impaired and the members of St. Paul. And with me is Deacon Storm. Hello. See, I got him because if I'd said, say hello, Bill, he'll say, Hello, Bill. See, and I didn't want to give him that chance, but I finally did. Okay, here's some things to know about. Tomorrow evening, which is Wednesday at 6.30, I'm going to live stream Wednesday in the Word to see how it goes. Soren's coming in. We're going to live stream it from 6.30 till probably 7.30 or so. Those of you who used to come, this would be a chance for those who've never been there to see what it's like. Well, it won't be exactly like it was because there won't be anybody there except me and Soren, but we will provide a study on the Old Testament and a little bit of litur liturgy from response and prayer number one or two, whichever it is. Wanted you to know about that. It's Wednesday evening, tomorrow evening, and we want you to be able to check into it. It'll also be recorded to go up on the Trinity YouTube site, so we'll get to see that. Also, we've been talking about reopening. There's been some really strong discussion. Uh, Deacon Storm and I were looking at some sealed elements for the Lord's Supper in small containers. It's, it's like an hourglass about that big. On one end is wine sealed off in a cup about the size of an individual cup we have. And on the other end is a small piece of unleavened bread. We're talking about ways we can use these when we get the okay to continue worship services at Trinity. And I'll tell you this, please pray that we can do that again soon. I know people in government are trying to do the best thing. But I'd like our membership to pray to the Lord for the release that we would be able to gather together again. We've got some ideas about how we would schedule it to maintain a level of social distancing while maintaining fellowship at the altar and pulpit. So with these thoughts in mind, we want you to know that we are concerned about your health situations. And I want to reiterate that if you want to have a prayer request in the Sunday live stream, please email me or text me, prayer request, and then what it might be. We've had several, and uh, just this morning, the deacon and I driving up had a discussion with a member who's got a health challenge. And so we know there are needs going on. We also know that the economic effects of this shutdown are, are getting harder for many, but we pray that you have been able to continue in the Lord providing for your well-being, as he does always in Jesus. So with this being recorded then. We hope that you will find today to be filled with confidence in Christ, and we look forward to providing you with a live stream on Wednesday. In Jesus' name, amen.